here's my six people. So today I'm going to talk to you about cell phone use at school. Cell phones are a key part of life. We use them every single day. We talk to our friends, wake up with an alarm, do all kinds of certain things with them. Well, students are starting to use them at school quite often. And it's becoming a problem for teachers. So today we're going to look at how cell phones became so popular around school, the pros and cons of wanting cell phones at school, and some interesting statistics taken by students at an actual university. Cell phones have been around for quite a while. In the 1990s, they took a big turn. They became more compact and much more functional. People could text on their screens. They became from this big, the little thing you put in your pocket. So everybody had one. Then in the 19, or in the 2000s, they evolved to smartphones. Smartphones enabled users to go on the internet at the palm of their hand, to download apps, do all kinds of different things like that. So. Eventually, kids, all kids wanted smartphones, and their parents pretty much bought them. So, These smartphones eventually took place in school. Teachers didn't like them. They said they were disrupting their class. And <laughs> it became definitely a problem. So now we're going to take a look at some pros and cons of wine cell phones at school. So pros are school emergencies. Back in 1999, there was a Columbine school shooting, and some of the students' last time talking to their parents was actually on their cell phones. Um, it allowed students to contact the police, let them know what was going on at the school. So they're good in that sense because if we, for some reason, had to get down in the corner, we could contact people with our cell phones instead of having to go over to the phone by the door and get in the way of harm. Family emergencies are another important factor because if something would happen at your house or your family need to get a hold of you, um, they might not always know the number for the school or exactly how to get a hold of you. So your cell phone is the best way to do that. And a lot of times what they have to tell you is more important than what's going on at school. Um, another pro would be the technological features. Because they've become so advanced, you can download apps, calculators, Google Maps, you can have calendars to keep track of your assignments and stuff. So it can be a very helpful tool in the school for keeping track of things, making them more productive. Some cons. Cheating is the biggest con. Um, it's definitely a problem, as we'll see in the statistics we'll look at later. Um, It'd be easy for me to text Max on a, on a test and say the answer for number six today. So teachers don't like it for that reason. Um, they're very disruptive to the class. If I had my phone sitting there and started vibrating, somebody would look up and take away from what they're doing. And rumors are often spread at high schools. And if so students have their cell phones out, they can say something about a kid, spread it to everybody else in the school. and. And that could make it a bad day for the kid that the rumor is being spoken about. Now we're going to move on to some interesting statistics that I found. There's a study taken by the Common Sense Media and the Benenson Strategy Group where they asked 2,000 students a series of questions regarding the cell phones. In an average week, teens send 440 text messages, and a quarter of these are sent while they're at class or in school. 65% of teens use their cell phones in the building despite school policy, which means if they say you're not supposed to have your cell phone all, they're going to find a way to do it. They're going to do it in the hall, by their locker, at class, whatever. 35% admit to cheating on a test by using their cell phone at least once. And 65% say they all know somebody who has cheated with a cell phone. That's a huge number, and I think a lot of people, probably quite a bit more people, have cheated using their cell phone. And only 41% say that cheating with a cell phone is a serious offense. So that tells you there that students don't think it's as big of a deal as it really is, and they don't quite use them as they should. In conclusion, we took a look at the different effects of using cell phones at school. As schools create rules against cell phones, students will continue to find a way around those rules. 
hopefully now we have a better understanding of both sides of the debate, whether you're for it or against it. In all reality, it is up to the parents to teach their children what is right and wrong when they give them a cell phone, and it is up to the kids to withhold those rules as they grow older.